Hi everyone, welcome to this Thrift Flips video. It's just a quick walk through a few of the items that we brought home on our last thrift haul and what we did to them. Hope you enjoy it. So for these metal items, I decided to do a copper finish with DIY's Pennies from Heaven. It is a paint on liquid copper patina. Painted that on both these items, let it dry overnight. Afterwards, I applied some dark wax. Uh, you just rub that on and then buff it right back off. And that gives these pieces a really beautiful, warm copper glow. The M I decided to keep I put that up in my kitchen and I think it looks really pretty there. And on these metal items, I did a coat of black primer first and then a coat of white chalk paint. Um, on the green milk can, I did a wet distress to let some of that black and even that, uh, that green uh, bottom coat come through. I love the way that this turned out. I love the green that pops through there. I thought it turned out really pretty. For the little green owl, I decided to paint him in DIY's Apothecary and finished him off with some white wax. Apothecary and white wax is a classic combination, always looks great. I think he turned out really sweet. Uh, you put that white wax on, just wipe it back, and the finish is really amazing. This next piece I did in the black primer white chalk paint combination with a nod to enamel wear. Had to get this um, design off of it before I could get the paint on there, but it did turn out very nicely once it was all said and done. Pretty uh, decor transfer added and then some floral. I think it turned out rather nicely. The cute ceramic creamer I painted in DIY's weathered wood and finish that off with uh, white wax also. Uh, that turned out really pretty. I was really pleased with the finish on that. For this wooden palette sign, I did the black primer, the coat of black primer, and then topped that off with a coat of white chalk paint. Um, and then I went with a grain sack look, uh, did some stripes in DIY's Apothecary, and then did a JRV stencil, grain sack stencil on top of that. Turned out really cute, I thought. This sweet little metal chicken that my husband found for me at the ReStore did a coat of white chalk paint and the grain sack effect as well. Uh, used DIY apothecary again and another JRV stencil. So cute. This wooden tray was actually a holder for a Pyrex baking dish. I uh, wanted to make it look a little more antique -y, so I used some Waverly Antiquing Wax and Water, a 50-50 combo. Just painted that on to the sides to darken it up. Uh, then I used uh, some white chalk paint on the tray portion and painted that and then used a decor transfer, a couple of decor transfers on the tray as well. Um, I added some more of that antiquing wax and water mixture to take away some of the starkness of the white on the tray and I thought that turned out really nicely. So these are just some of the finished transformations. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.